Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is. It is that time again for some reason, and some inexplicable reason, we've had six patches, and it's November the 2021. 20, we had six patches all of last year. That further leads me to believe that we're just getting the game a little bit at a time. But you know, it is what it is, man. We ain't gonna go there. Uh, we just gonna go through the patch notes really quickly. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and then we're gonna get up out of here. NBA 2K17 patch 1.06 notes. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Voice me going because I got a little, uh, my, my wife had the flu. So, you know, I think I'm catching it off her. Anyway, the Hornets will now have the correct court projection. Like, who cares? Nobody cares about that. Uh, the fixing and definite simulation screen, blah, 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 in my career, tied, okay, okay, that's cool, fix the hang in my league, I guess, I know people play that, but that's important, uh, when you attempt to staff sign, okay, that could be irritating, um, yeah, address day, yeah, uh, okay, uh, fix my team challenge case where the end game overlay, like, dog, what, like, Again, how does this stuff make it out of testing? Address the case where a My Team card that was sent to the auction house would still appear in the lineup menu as being available when it actually wasn't. Now, that could be irritating, but you know, that probably should have gone on the gameplay. Anyway, this is what we want to know about here. Gameplay, uh, fix an issue where pass icons were not appearing for users playing in 4K. Okay, that could be annoying, but you know it is. But I don't have a 4K TV, and I'm sure the 90% of us don't either. But you know, it is. It is what it is. Remove some long, drawn-out dribble pickup animations from body system uh, to improve responsiveness. Like what? When you body somebody up, I guess. Oh, they move. They just remove some of them. Some of the dribble pickups. I probably were the cheesy ones anyway. Uh, made some aggressive bump back, uh, bump back dribble collisions in the park only. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I hope that's not the one where you went into the dude and you punch him in his mouth and then you 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 checking yourself and he checking himself and then they walk off because that need to go. Maybe that was the one that they took out because that shit had no point in the game. And then it's like five seconds later, the game starts back and then some, somebody scores because everybody's out of position, but whatever. Prevent, prevent defenders from being able to steal the ball um, from inbound immediately after checking it when, when playing in my part. That should have never been in the game. Now, I'm not going to lie. We abused the shit out of that. And then Shoot Everyone even put out a video saying if you pop the glove right before they uh right before they uh pass the ball, then you'll steal it every time. So, hey, at least they fixed that. That should have been gone, though. I mean, that was in the game last year to some degree. And then they start locking you in place. But, hey, it is what it is, man. So they locked you in place, but you can still reach. What? Like, again, how does this make it out of testing? But you know it is what it is. Make all players, uh, make sure all players are in position before checking the ball when when playing half court games in my part. Is that gonna go just for the half court games? Because, dog, I know every like this is that's a good that's good, but if it's just for half court, it's trash. And I'm just gonna be honest with you because there's been too many times where you slap the ball, the ball goes to the other end of the court, it goes out of bounds. My, the defensive team goes to get it, and he launched that bitch back down court, and then, you know, you pass it in and get an easy dunk or layup, and that's the game, or easy mid-range or whatever. Like, like is that the half court, or is it just, I mean, when playing half court games, or is that just in the half court set? I, I don't know. Like, that shouldn't, that should be for, for, for everything in my part, because when, um, I mean, that just happens way too much, and you lose games off of that. But anyway, spared up the CPU's ability to get into offensive sets and run plays. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't I don't know if that's like when you're playing, um, but can you call plays in, in, in Pro-Am or whatever? We don't know that yet. Okay, uh, fix an issue. Uh, fix an issue that would sometimes cause com uh, CPU control ball handlers to run out of bounds when attacking the baseline. I mean, that happens to regular people too. Even though the baseline barrier is a little bit better now, that's still the same thing. Cleaned up an issue that led to unrealistic speed bursts in some size up escape and combo moves. Now, a lot of people were testing this out last night and saying that speed boost, I mean, that, that to me that says speed boosting is dead and, and it's only in certain moves. So uh, you gotta find in, you gotta find the right combos. R.I.P. Hank the Tank. R.I.P. Speed Booster, man. It don't matter to me. All you gotta do is look at what hand they got the ball in, 
and then stand on that side if that person is a speed booster. They should only get you with that one or two times. The problem comes when you got somebody that can speed boost and pull up and fall away. That's the issue. But you know, it is what it is, man. But unrealistic, unrealistic speed burst, whatever. Um, a lot of people were saying, hey, but you can still speed burst, but they figured, nah, listen, if you played the game last night, y'all know from last time, nothing changed last night. So if you was missing last night, you just trash. It's a, it's a placebo effect. Nothing is going to be locked in until this morning, just like last time. Nothing will be locked in until they put in the tuning update uh, this morning. So if you were, if you were speed boosting last night, or you felt like they tested jump shooting or whatever, that's that's on you. That's all in your head because nothing has changed yet. Uh, fix the case. Let me see. Uh, what were we at? Cleaned up on realist. Okay, fix the case that caused the wrong dribble move to queue up when when attempting to perform dribble combos. I mean, that's cool, because I know sometimes what I would do, like with my big ass dude, I'd go left, right, and then he would step back. And I ain't trying to step back. I was just trying to, you know, left, right, and go by. So you know it is what it is. I mean, the left, right, step back was quick as fuck. But I'm just saying, like, it, it was unreliable. Like, I really couldn't do what I wanted to do. Updated broadcast stadium. Man, nobody cares about that, uh, the broadcast stadium cameras. Okay, whatever. And Baluba, Baluba camera updated to, to zoom out more in transition and have it and have a wider range of uh of zoom height uh adjustment settings so the mike wong camera is uh is 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 fixed i guess i'm, I'm gonna see how that works it, it always was backwards to me though it's like the loop is a reverse angle but you know it is what it is hey i guess when you're there you can you can tell them they hey put this in the game damn right but anyway my park and uh pro am and this will be it uh says a number of performance enhanced uh, improvements to, to solidify the pro-am experience fix an issue that would that would cause some uh users to hang when attempting to hop from one park to another and uh users can now unequip the skateboard like and many other bugs and fixes did they fix can we get in the pro-am together y'all pushing the pro-am scene on us but can we get in it together i would far rather play pro-am than park but we can't get in it together reliably, and so we have to try three, four times, and then, you know, then we can finally get in. But, you know, anyway, man, like I said, some of this stuff, uh, we won't know until, like, 9 o'clock when they push the tuning update out or whatever. It was like a two-gig patch or whatever for the Xbox 2.6, I think it was. But, um, I mean, a lot of this stuff, I believe it when I see it, man. That's that's just all. That's, that's where I am with this game right now. I'm not doubting them, but, I mean, they told me camera relative chain resetting was fixed, and I done lost a couple of games off of, Oh, I'm not even going to check it because, um, I mean, it's great that you can change it in the park, right? But, I mean, I've lost a couple of games off camera relative not being fair. I mean, I go back in the park and boom, I'm back on camera relative. I try to reverse dunk, he go to the front side of the rim. I'm like, what? So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you guys let me know what you guys think. I mean, the only thing I'm seeing is no speed boosting. And uh, that I care about probably is, uh, is uh, no speed boosting. Um... And I really don't care about that. That wasn't a problem for me this year. Uh, player collisions, I can body more people with my lockdown defender. And um, and then they fixed the, you know, the inbound and stuff, the inbound cheese. But, uh, hey, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this month. Yeah, they say they fixed that stuff, man. I believe it when I see it, man. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all.